Okay, I think we are live, so if you guys can hear me, let me know. All I'm seeing is a black screen. Okay, there we go. Yay! Okay, so you guys are finding me. We'll give everybody a couple minutes to get in here. Hi there. Can you guys hear me okay? Everybody a couple minutes to get in here. Huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm trying to make sure that I've accepted everyone's... Um, Thank you. Okay, maybe it's not going to let me. I was going to try to make sure that I go ahead and um, accept the new people that are trying to join. There we go. Okay. Yay. We're going to make a cute little box tonight. I'm really excited. Hi there. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I'm sorry I missed two Fridays in a row. Um, sorry, I'm trying to see if there's anybody else that's trying to get in on this group. We'll probably have a smaller, um, a smaller attendance just because uh, it's going to take a few weeks to get everybody over here. Hi there. <laughs> Okay. Hi, Danny. Hi, Kathy. I failed to say some names. I'm trying to read and approve, and I got three devices. I got one over my head, one right here, and then another one over here to the left of me. So somebody remind me in a couple minutes to so just make sure that um, there isn't anyone else that wants to join the group. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Tina, I think you would have to turn off the notifications. Um... Yeah, is it an iPhone? You would just go to your notifications and turn that temporarily turn that off for a little while. That's great to hear, Tracy. Awesome. Oh, Robbie, I've had uh, three espressos today. I'm completely hooked on that thing. I knew that was going to happen, though. <laughs> the good thing about it is that I don't. I'm not quite as hungry, so. I had one for breakfast, one for lunch, and one for dinner. I did eat, though. <laughs> okay, so let me check one more time and see if anyone else wants to join, and then we're going to get started. I, I should have found an admin for tonight to add people, but, um, oh, well. So what we're going to do is make a cute box. Um, I'm using crushed curry because this... You know, and I'm sorry, I can't show you the inside of the new catalog, but uh, this pack of paper, hold on a second, I showed it to you when we did the catalog tour, so the name of it is Pick a Pattern, yeah, Pick a Pattern, and we're using the matching stamp set as well, which is pieces and patterns. That just doesn't roll off my tongue very easily. Um, but I love this. I don't know if you guys, um, we started shipping catalogs on Wednesday and we've shipped every day this week since Wednesday. So another huge shipment went today. But anyway, I don't know, like if you look at the catalog, you might not notice this set, but I have used it for a couple cards and now we're gonna make a box. I really do love it. Hey there. Okay, so let me put this paper back and then I'm going to get the trimmer. We're not going to be cutting much. I'm going to get this catalog out of the way. I just wanted, I put that there to make sure that I didn't forget to uh, mention that I had started shipping the catalogs. They go live on June 1st, and not until later in the day, so. 
crushed curry to match this paper. Now look how cute this flip side is. So if you need a cute little box for, man, when Chase was little, he loved dinosaurs. Um, so that would be what, a brontosaurus, a T-Rex. I don't know if that's a triceratops or not. Maybe that, yeah, maybe it is. Is there a velociraptor in here? Anyway, um, yeah, I got sidetracked there for a second, didn't I? What does this measure? We're going to cut this to measure six. <laughs> I hope my measurements are right. I'm, I'm thinking maybe they're not right. Um, and here I was making sure I had all my ducks in a row today. It's six and a half. Yeah, six and a half. So I lied. Got to open up the arm. The six and a half is almost hard to see. That line is that right there. So six and a half. By ten and a half. Where's my ten and a half? Y'all can tell I haven't been stamping for a couple weeks, can't you? Okay, this is going to make our box. So now I'm going to get the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. Oh, yes, Robbie, the ink pans. So here's this year's ink pan. And um, I got it to match, kind of sort of match the new end color. It looks like Berry Burst. Uh, is it Berry Burst or Berry Blast? Goodness gracious. I'm going to learn these colors by June 1st, I promise. What is it? Berry Burst. Yay. So, yeah, see, it kind of matches. Lane Swerve there. Uh, okay, now. You're going to score this on the portrait side at one inch on both sides. Then you're going to turn it on the landscape side, and I'm going to score it at two and a half, three and a half, six, seven, and nine and a half. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Where's my bone folder? Hey, Laura. Oh, my gosh. I almost cried when I saw the picture of you the other day with your husband and um, Caitlin. Y'all look so pretty. Okay, now we gotta, we've got to do some cutting. And you want to make sure you cut the right side here. Um, so this side here, you don't remove. Yeah, I'm, you do remove. You don't remove this one. So see how this is thick? And by the way, I'll have a cleaner version for you on, um, on YouTube next week because I have another, I have a much larger uh, size for you and I'll explain all of that towards the end of why I came up with a larger size I'm gonna approve everybody really quick on um, on this Facebook group so that they can get in here there we go okay where's my scissors I'm gonna get a pen and show you guys because this will help oh look I have all these pins in front of me okay so from this point here all the way down here we're going to remove just this section and the same thing here we're going to remove all that okay so i'm just going to take my scissors and that's trash Whew. 
Now on this side, we're just going to come over here and trim or cut up to the score line. And we're going to do that on both sides. And then I'm just going to give those a sliver of a trim. <laughs> Same thing on this side. Okay, so this is going to fold in. I'll go ahead and show you how it's going to work. So that's going to go up like that. This is going to go like that. And this is going to fold over and this is going to fold down. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the envelope punch board and I'm going to round these two sides here. If you have the retired Project Life Corner Punch, you can use that instead. I'm trying to make sure I only use product that is available. Now we're going to add the adhesive. And I'm going to use tear and tape. Oh, wait. What am I missing here? What are y'all talking about? Um... I'll look back on the questions when I'm done. I think you're asking about the um, the Simply Scored scoring tool. Um, some paper, for example, the basic black, really needs a good rub with wax paper across it to glide. But not all cardstock needs it, just certain ones. I don't really know why. So yeah, I have a box of... Um, wax paper over by what's that station over there called my stampin station I'm probably putting too much adhesive on this thing yay so at four o'clock today I still didn't know what in the world I was gonna make um, so I had an idea of what I wanted to make. I just didn't know how to make it. So, um, I, I just basically did this shocking last minute Angie. Okay. Here's the paper piercer. I'm going to try to do this without stabbing myself. I had said a month ago that I'd finally mastered it, but then I left and went on vacation. So, I don't want to jinx myself. <laughs> I'm holding my breath. Okay. So here we go. This one right here is going to fold in like that. And this one like that. And then these are going to fold over. And then the same thing here. And look, so here's our box. It folds over like that and over like that. And then we're going to put, you don't have to use Velcro, but we're going to use Velcro again. So just like that box, remember we made this one a couple weeks ago, but this was um, two pieces of paper to make the box, whereas this one is just one piece of cardstock. But look how, that's a nice size, right? Um, I'm going to show you what fits in there after we decorate the whole entire thing. Hi, Rhonda. <laughs> So here's the awesome paper that we're going to use, but we're using the flip side because I'm making this for an adult. So we're going to cut the designer series paper. The first cut that we need is at four and a quarter. Actually, I don't even want to cut it at four and a quarter, do I? I'm going to cut it at two and a quarter. I'll make sure I have all the measurements posted for you. Is that right? Hold on. I don't want to. I don't want to cut it the wrong. 
Oh, that's right. Two and a quarter. Okay. So two and a quarter by four and a quarter. And that's going to go right here on top. Just like that. And then the next piece we need is um, three quarters by four and a quarter. So I'm going to cut this at four and a quarter and then three quarters. I'm using the three quarters over here on this side and I need two of those. Oh, I think I cut that one a little crooked. Oh, well. Okay, one of these, we're going to round the edges. Well, let me get the rest of these cut before I do that. The next piece we need is two and a quarter by three quarters, and we need two of those. Let's see, two and a quarter? Yeah, wait. Yeah, that measures two and a quarter, right? So we need three quarters. I'm talking to myself and talking to y'all. So here's all of our pieces. Now this one, because it's going to go down here, we want to round the edges only on this side. So I'm going to get the envelope punch board again. You just have to make sure it's all the way in there. I do love the dinosaurs, um, but for the project that I'm making, it kind of wasn't, it wasn't working. Um, adhesive. Here it is. I'm going to take a teeny tiny break for just one second. I'm going to see if there's anybody else that needs um, approval to get in here. Yes, five people. Approve, approve, approve. Sorry about that, guys. Next time, uh, everybody will be used to it, I think. I should be using my liquid glue for this. Isn't this cute? Okay, so this one's going to go back here in the back. This would be, it would be really cute if you had um, a child to give it to. I just didn't have any, anyone to give dinosaurs to right now. But I'm going to make something. I have to. Maybe I'll make something for Chase and just say, remember when. I did try to make this box with just designer series paper, and for what I wanted it to hold at the time, it was too flimsy. So that's why we're using the crushed curry. See how awesome that is? Okay, now I'm going to be stamping. Um, I'm using basic black ink, crushed curry marker, and I need to do some cutting again. I'm going to cut two pieces just in case I mess up. So the white piece is going to measure two and a half by one and three eighths. So two and a half by one and three eighths. I think my blade almost is ready to be changed. So there's two for just in case I mess up the first one. And the basic black piece is going to measure two and a half. Is that right? Oh. No, two and three quarters by one and five eighths. Ooh, Brookie just got home. Okay. Yeah, so one side is for children and the other side is for adults. Okay, wish me luck. Ugh. If only I was, sorry if I just stuck my head in the camera. I went to the doctor today, and I'm officially no longer five, three and a half. I'm five, three. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> if only I could get taller. Um, okay, so that was Elaine Swerve, right? 
I'm going to try to color this well, and I probably should have given it more time to dry. Um, oh, well, we'll be fine. You know what? I'm going to... I don't want to stick my head in the camera. But I can't see that far away, even with my <laughs> glasses on. Okay. I never know if y'all want me to talk while I'm just coloring or if you just rather I be silent. <laughs> you know what? While I'm coloring, I'll say this. Um, I'm going to be giving away this little cluster of ink pens and ribbon um, to the left of me. Hence the reason it's sitting there. Oh, that's a terrible color job. Uh, but I'm not sharing what, how until I get to the very end. I've kind of ruined this one. Oh well. Y'all know I can't see. It's going to go on here just like that. And let's take this little... Hold on. Let me see if anybody else wants to join us. Yes, five people. Let's see if I can make them anonymous. Cover it up for a second. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm taking the tree builder punch and I'm cutting out that little teeny tiny flower which is so cute and then these amazing glitter enamel dots or whatever they're called um, I'm gonna put one of these right on top of that flower Isn't that cute I'm going to pop this one up. I'm sorry. I stopped looking at questions. Once I got to decorating the box, I just kind of completely um, ignored the questions. But before I hang up, I'll make sure that I look and answer any questions that's there. I do need a new blade. Sorry. It's like I'm shaking. We'll attach this, and then I'm going to add the little flower, and then we're going to add the little closure thingy. I'm going to add that with a glue dot. Uh, Kendra, I'll be doing a video on the day it goes live, so um, I can't believe I'm going to say that I don't know what day the first is, but I just got home and, and mailing the hundreds and hundreds of catalogs. Uh, whatever day the first is, that's the day I'm going to be live streaming. Okay, so now we're going to take uh, the Velcro thingies. Or wait, do y'all want to see what fits in the box first? Or do you want me to add the Velcro? Um, well, I can add the Velcro. Well, can I? Do I have one left? Yeah. And you can use the, the black ones. You don't have to use the clear ones. Okay. Wow. The first is on a Thursday? Hmm. Really? Awesome. Okay. So, I'm... Where's my scissors? Here they are. So I'm going to add one side of the Velcro dot on this side. Now you could use ribbon and wrap it around and tie this thing closed. Or you could use, what are those little awesome things that we don't have that I wish we had? The magnet thingies, the snaps. Look how cute that is. It's almost like this one, except like I said, this one was made with two pieces of paper. This one's just our cardstock, and this one's made with one. And this one will hold a snail perfectly. Now, I'm going to show you several options that you can... Um, Rosemary, you can get these at Lowe's or... I Honestly, I think I got these on Amazon. I'm about 99% sure I got these on Amazon. 
they may have a different brand now. If you can't find them, just send me an email and I'll uh, send you the link. I've already sent the link to a couple people. So yeah, they're on Amazon. Just type in clear Velcro. And I need I needed to, um, this one's not stuck real well. I don't want to rip my box. This happened last time too when I used Velcro dots, didn't it? Here's what I need to do. I need to give it a little. Okay. There we go. I just want to make sure I didn't damage it. Okay, so now, what's going to fit in here? I decided, oh, the, the dollar store has them too? That's amazing. Um, I'm going to double check really quick and see if anybody needs to join. Yeah, there's three people. We're not running behind. We're doing pretty good. Um, so normally I show you guys candy, you know, like I got a whole stash of candy here that will kind of show you an example of what will fit in there. Well, I was looking for a box. I hope y'all are, y'all, there's no problems, right? No. Okay. So I was looking for a box to hold this chunk. Well, it didn't fit, but I had to first make this box to determine that it wasn't going to work. So then I was looking for other things to fit. And you could put a snail in there. It's a little big. It fits better in that other box. Um, I don't think ribbon will fit. Nope. Mm -mm. But a bunch of candy will. This is candy we got in um, Aruba, <laughs> which is pretty good. I already had one tonight, which I shouldn't have. Um, yeah, so you can fit like, and these are like the size of the Ghirardelli chocolates. This is all Easter candy. But then I have these uh, perfectly posh samples, and watch this. So tons of things can fit in here. Uh, every time I uh, show a video of making a box or something, people will ask me, well, what can I put in there? And I always give candy, but I'm still... I'm not going to be showing a bunch of candy lately. I finally lost some weight, and I don't want to gain it back. So, yeah, I'm going to start showing other things. Like a couple months ago, I showed you guys a, a lipstick holder. So, hopefully you'll appreciate Oh, the tissues. Yes. Thank you, Karen. Exactly. So, this was originally a tissue box holder. Okay? So, thank you for the reminder. But, like I said, I needed it larger to fit one of these chunk bars. So, on, on my blog on Monday, I'm going to show you how to make the larger size. And that fits in there perfectly. I just got to decorate it. And I got to figure out what I'm going to decorate it with. I have, like, some old, retired, pink ribbon. Um, yeah, anyway. Okay, so... Uh, Crystal, you can't see us. Can you hear us? I love boxes. So now, the other thing I was going to say is that when I was trying to figure out how to turn this tissue box into a chunk holder box, man, I really like doing it. So if you guys have um, something that you need me to make you a box to fit, let me know. I would... I love the challenge, and it really didn't take me that long. Like, once I determined what type of box I needed, it took me less than an hour to, which some people probably could have figured it out in five minutes, but not me. Um, yeah, it is it is a bar of soap. Man, these things, it smells heavenly. I could eat them. Um, the measurements. Okay, so let me get the paper real quick. So the crushed curry cardstock that you're going to need is going to measure six and a half by ten and a half, and you're going to score it on the portrait side at one inch on both sides. Yes, Kathy, I'd be happy to send you some. I'll send you an email. Play in cards? That would be a good idea. Um, who said that? Karen? Yes. We would probably want to shave off um, probably an inch. Uh, yeah. I can test it if you need me to. Okay, so back to the measurements. I'm sorry. Six and a half by ten and a half. 
and you're going to score it on the portrait side at one inch on both sides and on the landscape side you're going to score it at two and a half three and a half six seven and nine and a half and i'll make sure i post those in the comments when the video is over i'll just come in and add the measurements when i go and look for everyone's questions because i always try try to go back and answer everyone's questions when it's over okay so let's see what other questions now oh you notice my bracelet robbie is it this one that you're noticing i don't think it's a tennis bracelet but i got this in aruba at the airport it's very cute isn't it it's so different because watch this like it you can take it off like that <laughs> okay sorry lane swerve again uh penny i'm sorry it is over Okay, so the pink ink pens, I, before everybody departs and leaves. Okay, so I am going to send four people tonight um, one yard of each of the five colors and an ink pen. So I haven't cut all four people's ribbon. I will as soon as this is over. Uh, and all you have to do is leave a comment on this thread and a lot of you have already left a comment, so you're already entered if you've left a comment. And I'm just going to use like a random generator type of thing and just draw four names, okay? So these are the ink pens that I'm sending with my catalogs this year. Okay. Did I forget to tell y'all anything? I don't think I did. So I'm going to look for questions now. Carrie, we love Aruba too. This is our um, second time. It was where we went on our honeymoon. Oh, goodness gracious, the questions are gone. The comments are gone. How do I find them? There they are. Whew. Well, hold on a second. Hmm. Okay. I can't really see the questions now. It won't let me go back and see the old ones. So if you ask me a question, yes, Kathy, everyone gets a bookmark, um, a wish list, an ink pen, the catalog, and a little special in there that's only offered to my customers. <laughs> You're welcome, Deb. Happy birthday. Yes, this is the new uh, new ribbon colors. Okay, so this is Fresh Fig, Lemon Lime Twist, Tranquil Tide. Uh, that's a tongue twister for me. I don't know. What is this one? Powder pink. How did I forget that one? And then berry blast. Berry blast? Berry burst. Oh, burst. I told y'all I was going to really try to get them uh, remembered by June 1st. So I have another week or so. Thank goodness. I love them too. I, I have to say that this one would be my least favorite, but when you put it with this one, I could almost see these being used for Christmas, don't y'all? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. They do look good together. So here's the comments that I can't see because I can't go back any farther. I'll make sure that I check out the comments uh, when the live stream is, when it's over, okay? I'll stay for one more minute and see if there's any other questions. But I'm going to write down that I'm going to post the measurements. And I'm going to what <laughs> oh answer questions don't try to read my chicken scratch it's terrible I'm glad you like that color it took me a little bit longer to like it I think because it's it's not like any of the colors we've ever had before I think the color it might be the closest to would be garden green but it's a little more blue I think Okay. Oh, you can hear Elvis? Do y'all want to see Elvis? I could ask Brooke if she would bring him down. Um, he just did the wolf whistle up there. 
I can't get her attention. I don't want to yell in front of y'all. So maybe, yeah, you want to see them? Okay, so for all of y'all non-animal lovers, I'm going to go get Skittles, or not Skittles, listen to me, Elvis. So it's going to take me about one minute to get him and come right back. So um, for the people that are just here for stamping, see you later. And for those that want to meet Elvis, I'll be right back, okay? Look at this. Look at this. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Look at there. I know. I don't know. Can y'all see him? <laughs> Can you talk? No? Pretty bird. <laughs> I know. Okay, Brookie, come get him. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? He's on my back now. <laughs> oh, now he's on my head. <laughs> oh, it's okay. He says he wants to stay. Bye. Okay, guys, so. <laughs> oh, bye. He's not going to talk. Okay, Lisa, that was a great question. Um... <laughs> It, you know what? We thought that um, Skittles would be the aggressive one because she's a conure, and sometimes conures can be a little bit more aggressive. But Elvis actually chased Skittles, and Skittles was afraid of Elvis. So it was the exact opposite. Um, they Elvis didn't hurt Skittles, or they didn't even get close to each other because Skittles kept running away. That was last Saturday that they finally met. So we'll try to introduce them uh, again, sometime this weekend, but <laughs> yeah, Elvis was the aggressive one, and it's crazy because we didn't realize that Elvis was so much bigger than Skittles, but he is. <laughs> Elvis has left the building. No, Elvis has left the stamping studio. <laughs> um, oh, what does the box say? It says Wild About You. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end. Uh, oh, Penny, yes, he has, absolutely. But we know to put him in the cage every 10 to 15 minutes. And if we don't put him in the cage every 15 minutes, we know what's going to happen. So it's our own fault. <laughs> okay, so um, y'all have a great weekend. I am sorry, I'm just now saying this, but I won't be here next Friday because it's Memorial Day weekend and we are going to head to the lake. But I will post on my website this week. Um, maybe I'll do it Thursday evening or maybe Wednesday. I don't know. But I'll let y'all know. I'll post it on my blog and on all of my um, Facebook pages and groups. Okay, have a great weekend. Thank you.